do I wish I'd known about this stuff when I first started out crafting? So many things. But in this video, I'm going to show you two of them that are going to completely change your ideas about Mod Podge and the bubbles and the wrinkles and the things that make you crazy. So let's get into it. We're going to make a cute little sign. All right? We're going to use this Dollar Tree sign. Now, I don't know if you can get them. If you can, grab a few. They're worth it. I've got a few here. I bought it maybe last year. Um, so the printables are that. Now these are, this is one of them. I'm not using this today, but this is one I was thinking about using. There's eight pages. Then there's this one. This one I'm using today. Okay. So I printed this out um, and I'm going to put it, Mod Podge it, on here. Okay. But first, I have some ideas. Of course, I'm going to paint this a little bit. So you all have to stick with me through the painting. I'm only going to paint the frame on this. You do not need to um, do the whole thing unless you want to. Now you're going to see mistakes in this video and that's okay because I want you to understand that as a crafter these things happen. I don't want you to see it all prettied up and edited out and you know all those things. I want you to see the reality of it so you can understand that this is part of the creative process and it is perfectly fine if it happens to you too. It happens to all of us. Don't kid yourself. Right? Completely do it if you want to. Just you know, you do you, I'll do me, and, and we're all going to be happy. Oh, oh my gosh, that rhymed. <laughs> I'm a poet, and I didn't even know it, as they say. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to take some white paint. You can do chalk paint. You can do white paint. Uh, acrylic. This is basic acrylic paint from the Dollar Store or Michael's, any place like that. And I'm just going to paint. I think I'm going to do the top. I'm not going to bother painting inside. I don't think it needs it. So yeah, if you see these framed sort of wood type um, frames, they're awesome. Grab a few, right? They're well worth it. I think that they're great. To, oh, I should do this side too. That drives you guys crazy when I don't do that. <laughs> Doesn't bother me, but. <laughs> But boy, do I get it in the comments. They're like, oh my God, you forgot the back. <laughs> All right, there we go. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. This is why I wear an apron. <laughs> Just like this. Um, okay. Now, did you know this is a tip? Okay. Because... I hate cleaning up as much as the next guy. Did you know that you don't have to clean your paintbrush every time? Um, so I use that, right, you can see, and I use this white a lot, right? So I'll probably use it like three more times today. So what you can do, instead of cleaning it every single time, like putting it in water, taking it to the kitchen, cleaning, who, who likes that part? That's the least fun part of crafting, I think, is cleaning paintbrushes, right? Um, what you can do, grab some saran wrap or uh, little plastic bags, Ziploc bag kind of thing. And I'm just going to cut myself a piece. My saran wrap box has seen better days, but it's still useful. So, all right. This is the tip. All right. You do not need to wash it. What you need to do is wrap it in saran wrap, right? so that no air gets at it, like a so, right? And then pop it in your fridge and leave it there. And the next time you wanna paint, within the next couple days, right? You just go grab this, pull that off, dip back in the white paint and keep going. You do not have to wash it. All right, so back here we go. I'm gonna give this a quick dry. I love these cheap little brushes from Home Depot, okay? Um, so I have paint on here. I'm going to be careful. I don't want to mix paint and Mod Podge in this case. I've done it. It's not the end of the world, but they kind of look similar. So be careful, right? So this is the DIY stuff, right? Now, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to take this and measure it up as much as I can, going in the right direction. It's pretty close. So this is how it prints out, right, from the printables. You can print it on cardstock, you can print it on sticker paper, you can print it on, I've printed on all kinds of things. There's nothing that's uh, 
um, sort of out of the norm for me. But it does come with this tiny little margin. So if that bothers you, in some cases you'll see it more than others. Um, you just need to trim that off, okay? So this is a regular eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that goes in your printer. And I'm just gonna measure it out. I want it to be the same size as the inside. So I think if I just kinda, I'm just gonna kinda score it with my fingers. Can you see this? I just pushed it inside and I'm scoring it with my fingers. All right, pull that out. That gives me a good idea where to cut. See that? So I'm gonna cut that. And then we're going to decoupage that inside. I mean, complicated? No, it's not. You have the fancy um, paper cutter, Fiskars thing. Do it. And then save this for something else, right? There we go. That's pretty close. Maybe a tiny bit more off. Actually, I think that's pretty good. It's pretty snug in there, okay? Awesome. Now, I like to use plastic wrap on mine, right? The reason, I will tell you the reason. You want to know the reason? I will tell you the reason. Because with plastic wrap, once I get this down and it starts to get wet from the Mod Podge, which it will, the paper becomes very soft and fragile, right? And if you start to rub it too hard with like um, your hand or your brush or whatever, you can tear the paper. So we don't want to do that, right? No, tearing the paper is no fun. That, that makes us sad. So I'm going to have a piece that's just bigger than uh, my piece of paper at the ready, okay? So I'll just put that there for now. Let's get some Mod Podge in there. Now remember, this is the DIY stuff. You can be generous with it because it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. I want to make sure I get it everywhere. And I'm actually going to do a long the edges too in case it bends in there, right? So you just you decide if you want to spend the time cutting it perfectly to fit, absolutely do it. For me, I'm good. All right. So I have mine punched it on, and off you go. Where can I put you? There we go. All right. So I'm going to take my paper, make sure she's going the right way up, right? Because this one has a direction. I'm going to just get that piece in there to start with. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to take my plastic wrap right, and just use this to push it down. This will help you get all the wrinkles and bubbles to center out kind of this way, right? See, like this, right? Push from the center out, push along the edges. But this plastic wrap, make sure the paper doesn't um, get too wet. And I'm okay with some wrinkles and some bubbles, right? But here's what happens. The paper gets a little stretchy when it gets wet, all right? And then, I can see a bubble there. Um, don't worry too, too much, just stick it down. But when it dries, it kind of shrinks back up again, okay? Where we get kind of lost in the weeds on Mod Podge is we see it bubble up when it's stretchy and then we freak out and then we don't, we work at it too hard. And then um, before you know it, I can do this. Um, you have a bubbly disaster and you're not very happy, okay? You can also, yeah, you can just do this or you can put like a bag on your hand, but I'm just using the plastic wrap to keep this from tearing, okay? And like I said, I'm okay with a couple of bubbles. Now, I'm going to dry this really quick to prove my point. I think that's good enough. For now, it's going to dry on its own too. So look at that, right? So now we have this really cute background um, that for the sign. And my thinking is, I want to add something to this. Now it's still pretty damp, so if I were you, I would let this dry for probably a good 24 hours, okay? But I'm not you, <laughs> so I'm just going to go for it while it's still kind of damp. I can feel it when you touch it and you feel 
a little bit cool, um, it's still got a lot of water in there. You want that to be dry, okay? That's kind of important. But like I say, I'm not you, so I'm just gonna go for it here. Now, I had, I had something, I had something. Oh, hey, I wonder if this would work. Oh, wow. I'm not gonna do this, but look at that. Isn't that cute? <laughs> so, you could do that, right? That's not my plan today. But I think there's going to be about a million uses for that little house, right? So I am looking for, where are you? Where are you? Oh, I've still got some things here. Hmm. I cannot find the one I had. It must have fell off the table somewhere. That happens. All right, so I have a little heart here that I painted. Uh, Hand-painted buffalo plaid and put love on it, that kind of thing. All right. I'm going to take this. Uh, I wish I had the red one, though. Where is that red one? How can I lose it on the table? When I, was, I mean, it's just us here. How is that even possible? Oh, ha, there it is, under a piece of paper. There, this is the one I want, okay? So I painted this, and, you know, these are Dollar Tree hearts, right? And I think... Actually, I might use both, right? I think I'm gonna do this, right? And just put these two Dollar Tree hearts on there. And you could do something around here if you have a red paint marker, put little hearts or dots or something on it. Um, but I have little beads, right? Because I like my things to pop off the, uh... yeah. This guy here's not my best work. It's got some glue or something on it, but it's just, just to show you, right? Um, I want to find about two or three or a bunch of beads that are the same size. There we go. That should do it. Three for each, let's say. All right. Then I'm going to take my glue gun, flip these guys over, and just hot glue some beads on there. One there. Hey, did you know that hot glue is, uh, comes out of here at 350 degrees? Oh my gosh. No wonder it burns, right? So just keep that in mind. It's like touching a hot stove, right? So don't, don't do that. I'm going to flip this guy over too. Same thing. Can you see what I'm doing here? Bring it down here so you can see. I'm going to just put these on this way. These are just going to give it some height. They're going to act like little risers, right? Little baby risers. That's all I want. Again, there's so much more you can do. You can go ahead and do so much more. And then, so now they're going to stand up away from the picture, right? I'm going to do it this way, I think. And I kind of like them like that. I think that's good. So now, once you lay them out and figure out where you want them, you could do three, as many as you like, right? It's all about you. All right, I'm going to do. Put quickly glue on all three. You figured out where you want it. Pop down. Just hold on to it. I would like this to be drier just in case, right? Um, thank you, Becky. Lots of awesome ideas and tips. That is the point. All right? And I need another glue stick. All right. Here's another tip when adding a glue stick to the end here. Just take your nozzle, just let it go in for a second, push it in. That makes it a little bit sticky, then slide it through and stick it to the glue gun, or to the glue stick in front, all right? Just hold that for a second. Now this will not, you know how it can be hard to get it to start? This will be basically attached to that other piece of glue that's almost done, right? And you've got yourself another stick of glue to go. All right. So you don't need to put a lot of glue on it. You just need to kind of stick the nozzle in it, warm it up, and then stick it to the uh, the glue stick in front of it, right? Like that. How's that? Right? I mean, you could put beads on here. You could put hearts on here. I wonder if I have. I have a red paint pen. Paint marker. This is from the Dollar Tree. Let's test it. Okay. 
Let's see if we can put some paint marker. I love paint markers um, for paint marking, right, Barbara? <laughs> All right, let's see, how are we here? Test you over here. I like paint markers, I, I can paint, right? But I like paint markers because um, we all can write, right? And so it's a little less intimidating. So I'm gonna put little hearts. Now, if you wanted to paint that on, you'd probably be scared to death, right? I'm not, actually, I would paint that on. Or you could Mod Podge words on there, like those words love, you could Mod Podge those on there. See, like that. Make it pop some more for Valentine's Day. Right. I think it definitely needs one or two in the center. I'm going to say one. Let's go center. If you don't go center, then add another one. Dollar Tree paint marker. The red and the black are well worth it, okay? The, here, Dollar Tree paint marker. The red one and the black one, worth every penny, right? Grab them when you can. There we go, look at that. See how it changed the whole look again, right? Just like that. <laughs> 